Welcome back to another video. So I'm currently on Riley and um, I'm just calling him off. So I just thought I'd start this vlog here. I was gonna only vlog tomorrow because I'm technically doing a show vlog, but I just thought I'd vlog today and do all the prep and whatever because I don't know, just I like watching that in other people's videos. So I just thought I'd do it. Um, basically, I just rode him and ran through our test and now I'm calling him off in the big paddock at the back just for a change. Um, he was so good. Yesterday when I ran through it, I went to my coach's arena to practice and he was literally bolting, like bolting when I asked him to canter and just taking off and I was like, okay, this is not good. So then today I used the Chambon, which is basically, I don't know how to explain what a Chambon is but you can just Google it. But I had it super loose and I just used that for the first 20 minutes and then I took it off and he did the test basically perfectly, which he's never done. So I'm very happy with him. Um, I'm about to go to work now and then I'm gonna come back and I don't really have that much to do today. I don't think I'm gonna wash him because I can't really be f It's not like a big show or anything. I mean, I could wash him, but I don't think I'm going to. I have to plait him and I've never plaited before. So that's gonna be interesting. I um I put the ear bonnet on him today. I usually never use ear bonnets, but I put this on him today because I'm not plaiting his forelock and I wanted to make sure he was good with an ear bonnet. So I decided to do it on the day before the show. So that was a good preparation. Um, yeah, basically that's all I have to say. My arm is starting to hurt, so I'm gonna go. I'll just say what I'm doing tomorrow so I don't have to worry about doing it later. I'm in the 40 and 50 centimeter, well, I'm in a 40 centimeter class and then a 50 centimeter class because this is Riley, not Turbo, so he hasn't really, he can definitely jump bigger than that, but he's very spooky and he hasn't been out much. But, um, so I'm doing the 40 and 50. I mean, I probably, he's, the 40 he's probably gonna find easy. I don't think they have that many fillers at the place we're going to. The last, the first show he went to, which was the other weekend, was 45. And he technically refused to, because he spooked at them from like 10,000 meters away, because they had fillers next to them. But yeah, so we'll see how he goes today. I got distracted. I was just saying, um, yeah, that's basically why I did the 40 and 50. And then he's also doing a prelim. Bye. Okay. He's also doing a prelim 1C test. His dressage when he's out could be better. I mean, last dressage test, which was his first one, we, there was a patch of dirt on the ground and he jumped over it and then he did a flying change over it and he nearly went out the arena and there was also a log which he spooked at and he got the wrong canter lead twice on his left lead and it was a bit of a disaster but at, at most of the horses were spooking at it and he still came fourth and he got like 64 which I think was very generous but I think they were just being generous because all the horses were literally spooking at that stupid patch of dirt. Are you excited? No? You weren't so naughty today. <laughs> floating practice with Riley because I don't I don't think it's gonna be dark when we load tomorrow but anyway his floating was got really shit and so I just was doing a bit of float training with him just with clicker training and just positive reinforcement and he's gotten so much better like he literally used to walk up and see the float and stop like 20 meters away and you couldn't get him to go forward without a whip which I did not like doing so he's much better now he still doesn't walk straight on but like he'll stop and then he goes on pretty quick, so I'll probably just video some of that. It won't be long, I'll just probably put him on either side and then finish.
good. That's the first time he's like, um, the second time he went up on the left side. That was the first time he's actually probably walked up without stopping. He was a tiny bit hesitant still, but usually he stops for a bit. And as you saw on the right side, um, he kind of like stopped and then walked around the side and then anyway, you would have seen. But he was very good, very happy with him. I'm gonna start platting him now. Wish me luck, probably gonna die. I'm probably, what's the time? It's like, it's four, 10 past four right now. I'm gonna start in a couple, probably five or 10 minutes. Probably gonna be here till like seven. I'm only just starting to plat now, it's 4.30. Um, got my hairspray, got gel, thread, because I'm, I'm threading, I'm not banding, but then I just have bands for the ends, obviously. Needles and whatever have food to get me through. Riley, thank God Riley stands literally this still the whole entire time, because he's an angel. Um, I'm not gonna like time, I'm not gonna video this whole thing, because it's gonna take me ages. Hang on. Probably take videos, like, I don't know, every now and then of my progress. Riley, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take a while, buddy. So, I just parted his mane, and I haven't actually counted how many. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That's a lot. Oh, why is there 15? Guys, there's so many. I feel like they would have been really thick. I don't, oh, I think I might need to call someone and ask for help because there should not be 15, surely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my God. I literally just finished plaiting these fucking things. Like I haven't done a single rosette and it's six o'clock. So I'm just gonna let Riley put his head down and have some grass, cause bless him, he's just been standing there perfectly the whole time. So I think he deserves to have a little break. What are you snorting about, silly? Oh, oh, okay. Riley's spooking at something. I closed the door in there and he wasn't a fan. I don't wanna come back in the stables cause I closed the door. Come on. It's, it was cold without the door. I promise you it's benefiting us. Maybe not you, but it was benefiting me at the time. Come on, not right now. Oh, for goodness sake. Are you a baby? Yeah. Yeah. Finished. Bella's here. I'm freezing. And I did it really bad. Wait. First we have a tiny one, and then they go to massive gold ball size ones that are really close together, and then we go back to tiny ones. <laughs> oh my god. It took me three hours to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Those like ones look like floating dots. I've been here for an hour and she done from like there since I've been here. Yeah, he's fine. He's just oh, having a nice okay. stroll. So, just go ahead, Riley. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. See, look, he's not even doing anything. Anyway, Riley's all he's snorting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he's snorting because the fridge. Anyway, Riley's finally done and trying to exit. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Riley, why do you hate it in there so much? Oh, I look like a man. <laughs> okay, so they're fed and all my <laughs> hell, Bella. All my shit's ready and we're finally done and it's freezing. So I'm going inside Wait, to have dinner ready? now. Time check. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 8.45. That's because an hour to feed them. Oh my god. I just fed them both. Well, Riley hasn't made it into his stable yet, and Turbo has exited. There's Turbo. Anyway, it's like 5.30 and I'm freezing. And that's all I have to say. Good morning. Everyone's here. Right, so it's 6.30 now, I think. Yeah, I'm going to feed the lamb and goat. And then feed the rest of the animals. And we're leaving at about 7.30. Oh my god, Riley is literally blind. Oh my god, Riley! 
What did you do? What the f What's even happening? How have you done this? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going to get a hair tie so I can tie it. Um, Turbo just nearly killed himself. So I can tie Riley's hood a bit better so it stops going in his eyes. Gyny big. <laughs> this is Sesame. Chick, 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 chick. Hi. Are you vlogging? Yeah. For YouTube? Say hello. Oh my god, hi. Welcome to Bella's pretty bad. To my famous bad. YouTube channel. Bella's currently redoing my forelock because it was really bad. It's going under a bonnet, that's why it's not on. <laughs> yeah, it's not on. Yeah. Anyway, there's my flats again. Bella's so bad. There's Deja's red horse. There's Riley, the better horse. Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a voiceover of my rounds just to make it a bit more interesting. I literally am going to leave in my full show jump rounds and dressage test which have a few little hiccups in all of them and I don't need any advice for how I look or how he looks. I know what we need to work on and yeah, I don't need any internet trainers coming at me please. So this is the 40 centimeter round where I kind of didn't feel like I rode that well and I just felt like it was a bit all over the place. I don't really have that much to say. I mean, this arena was really small because I guess the 40 and 50 really only usually have small ponies. And so this was quite a tight turn there, but in the 50 centimeter round, there were so many tight turns. Anyway, he went clear in this round and we're coming up to the last jump now, which I literally, I don't even know what I did coming up to that, but that was that. And so this is the dressage test. It was in an undercover arena, which he didn't want to walk into. And so he was quite spooky when we first went in there. Anyway, we're about to do his halt, which really, I've been working on his halts for such a long time and he just leans and wreaths on my hands and it's so annoying. And so that's what he did there, whatever. And then we tried up the centre line, all that was pretty tense. And he was kind of bent the wrong, he was bent the whole time, he wasn't straight. Um, then we go across the diagonal, this was just pretty tense. I don't think there was really, I mean, yeah, I guess he, he put his head down a little bit. But most of the time he was above the vertical and not listening. And yeah, that's that. This video, he did a nice big spook at the gap, which kind of messed up my serpentine. And I was already struggling with the serpentines because this arena was so big compared to my tiny, what is it, 20 by, is mine 20 by 40? Yeah, my little 20 by 40 arena where it's so tight. And then I was like, oh my God, what do I do? It's such a big amount of space. Um, so that was the serpentine, which, oh, I mean, at least he went straight there. And this, this is where we're coming up to the counter transition on the right and this whole everything is where it gets, um, everything starts falling apart. So interesting, no, the counter transition wasn't that bad. It could have been better, but whatever. And then here he just decides to, yep, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. And then... I kept going for the rest of the circle and then I could feel him kind of stopping and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to stop. And he was looking to the outside and it was making him feel so unbalanced and I was like, is he even on the right lead? And then he tried to canter again there. Anyway, so I just stopped um, cantering way earlier than I should have. And then here is the walk. He was actually, this wasn't that bad. Um... It could have been better, but whatever. And his free walk, which we're coming up to now, I was actually quite happy with that. He actually put his head down and relaxed a little bit, which I didn't think he would. There we go. Bella's filming. I don't know what what happened there, Bella. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he could have put his head down a lot more, but I was surprised he didn't trot, to be honest. And then we're about to just do a medium walk again, which wasn't much of a medium walk, but whatever. I think... Is this trot transition? I think this walk to trot transition was the one seven we got actually. Yeah, so he was fighting a lot coming up to it, but then during the actual transition, he was nice. And then he tried to canter during the first half of the serpentine. Um, 
that's that that's great he's just very tense you can see he's doing his like hoppy thing that he does when he gets really tense and he like doesn't go forward and he just hops oh and that's i don't know why he just didn't like that spot so that ruined the second serpentine which was already kind of ruined so as you can see the test is just a bit a little bit all over the place just breaking at the gap again thanks riley then that was a nicer transition. It was a little bit more together. And I was actually really happy with his canter on this rain. This used to be his bad rain, which he literally could not canter on. So I was very happy with this, especially the second half, um, the second half of the circle here. He really started to listen and was working over his back a bit more. And yeah, so I was happy with that. That was probably my favorite part of the test. And I go through my sheet later, so you'll know what scores I got for everything, but I think that was a 6.5. And the down transition wasn't that bad either. He did come above a bit, but it wasn't as bad as they can be sometimes. And this bit was quite nice here. And then his um, long range trot, he did stretch down, and the first bit was nice, and then he started speeding, and I was like, okay, we're about to canter. And then he stretched down a little bit more, really not that much at all. He could have stretched a lot more. And then he did like a half stride of canter, whatever, you know. Then he just went above again when I tried to collect my reins again, which he always kind of does. It's just something that we're working on. And yeah, that was that test basically. And then we come up the center line and... I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It was definitely better than the first test we did, despite scoring 10% lower than we did the first time. But this judge was just not as generous with her marks as the people who did our first test. Anyway, so that was the test. We got like 53 or something percent for that. I'll talk about my scores later anyway. So this is the 50 centimeter round. And the first, there was like... The first three jumps, there was really tight turns. One to two was quite tight, but two to three was ridiculously tight. And so you can see that he did not approve of me making him trot because it was tight. And so here is literally like, I don't, you can't, it's just so tight. You can't even see how bad it is, but he was very good this whole round really. And then there's another tight turn with like a change of direction. I, I did not like this course. And they changed the course both times and I had to remember and it was really hard. Anyway, that was, that was just a horrible distance from me. And I don't know what I'm doing. What are we coming? Oh, we're coming around to six. This was another tight turn again. This, it was just a small arena, whatever. That was cute. Um, yeah, I don't really have that much to say about this round. Okay, so we're coming up to the second last jump now. I can't remember. I feel like, did I trot? No, I counted. Um, yeah, so that that was this round basically. Clear again. He knocked a pole really hard and I thought that he knocked it, but he actually didn't. So yeah, clear. Good job, Riley. To, well, I didn't really have time to vlog the whole time. You vlog. Oh my god. <laughs> go on, say what you need to say. Go Riley, on. go on. Go on, tell, tell us how you Riley, know. go on. No, here, here, here. It's go. all about the angles. Oh my god. It's all about the angles. Oh, I need to take my hands. <laughs> so basically, dressage was a disaster and jumping was good. I can change my back. Oh, who you've said that again. Okay, it was half a disaster. Half the test yep. was a disaster, you good. gotta admit that. No, it, was, was, it wasn't even a disaster. It, Bella, he like jumped into the air and then Spoo did nothing. Oh my God, it was his first time in undercover yeah, here and I here know. and his second time yeah, doing yeah, a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he went clear in both his jumps, jumping rounds. Jumps. And um, yeah, it was really stressful. I had to do a jump round and then I had to tack up for dressage and then I had to do another jump round and it was really quite stressful. You should go back to school. That's so, your like that speaking was... sucks. No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go back to school. Speaking is great. You know seven. what word I bet you don't know? <laughs> On oh, no, you probably do know that. So no, I do get A in English. 
Well, I got And we go to school with <laughs> Okay, I'm just getting roasted. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> We've gone through like, well, 13 years of school, so... Riley just literally walked into the wrong person's car and opened their door and I was like wait anyway I really don't like vlogging in public it's really embarrassing but um we're done now I'm about to go get food and probably get a new bridle because I've wanted to get one for ages and then we have to do our helper duty and then that's not for another hour our helper duty and then we're going so <laughs> Goodness. I got happy homies. I'm taking over Sidel's vlogs. <laughs> and here we have Sidel up and plodding where she has been standing for like lots. Poor Riley. Been here for hours. Where she's been there for 20 minutes. <laughs> no, it's been more than 20 minutes. Got it. Stop, you are adorable. Doing? He makes Squeaky look so small. Stop, like literally look at their size difference. He's He's so Del actually showing affection to a horse for once. Mm. So Del, what do you have to say for today? I'm tired. I nearly died. She actually didn't, but <gasps> stop. <laughs> it's 2.43 and we're still here. I'm going to see if I can get my ribbon. Really, I just tried to take a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this. Wait, hands. Ones. Number five. Rub fingernails against. This is the content that I'm posting. Rub wrist. <laughs> about to leave got my third and fourth place for jumping he came third in the 40 and fourth in the 50 and it was just a few seconds off time like it was barely there was it was so close between fourth and first um now we're gonna go and I don't know if I said this but I got his dressage test it was 53 percent so that's a bit tragic um but his his first test was worse than that and he got 64 percent so I think the judge was a bit harsher. My first, the judge for my first test was much nicer, but I think this one was a bit harsh. Um, but I mean, he didn't deserve more than 53, really. On we go, get the nice video. Yeah, and he looks like a monkey. And he plays like that monkey in like something. Okay, so we're back. I was gonna give Riley a massage with the massage pad, but it's decided to stop working. The battery has been like broken for a while. Ow, he just like bit that down to my hand. Um, yeah, the battery hasn't has been stupid for a while, so I need to get a new battery for it. Um, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go put Riley back and then I think I kind of talked about everything that happened. Basically, the 40 centimeter was clear, but it, he was, it was kind of just a bit um, all over the place. Like he was kind of just running at the jumps and I was riding really And for the first like three jumps, I had my stirrup lost. Like I would lose it and then I'd get it back, but not properly and then I'd lose it again. And so that was like the first three jumps. I just couldn't really count strides because he wasn't going in a rhythm. He was just kind of all over the place. And the 50 was much better. Um, he, we got much better um, distances to everything and it was in a super small arena because obviously it's meant like 40 and 50 is technically meant for all the little kids and ponies so it was in a tiny arena with such tight turns and I hi turbo um hang on sorry that's just gonna have to be like that anyway it was in a tiny arena with like really fucking tight turns so he was very good for still doing all those turns and yeah so he got fourth oh my god Fourth in the 50, third in the 
40 and for dressage he came last which is great yeah the dressage was really not good um i think he i'll go look at my test and talk about it in a second but they do this every single time they see each other it's like it's like they haven't met before if one of you squeals i swear to god so yeah i kind of talked about my test before basically his right rank canter was terrible he literally just jumped around in the air and you'll see in the video it was just a bit tragic and both the serpentines were really bad he spooked in the middle of both of them and not in the middle but at one point in both of them so let me see what my test i can't read anything that is written on this sheet we went in we got a five for the first and just try up the center line i can't he was going way off center like he was bent and he wasn't straight and so that definitely was sh and then he got a six oreo okay and then he got a six for his change of rain which was also really bad steps toos returned i can't read that steps toos returned he got a 5.5 for his first serpentine, which he literally spruiked at the beginning of. I don't even know how he got a 5.5. I'm surprised he didn't get a 4 for that. And then his working canter on the right lead, the transition got a 6. And the circle, which is where he jumped in the air, got a 4, which definitely did not deserve more than that. Disobedient, well sat, every easy trot. Earl, oh yeah, he did the trot transition really early, so he got a five, a four for the working trot transition because it was way too early and it was also And then medium walk, he got a five for his um, medium walk because it was tense. Then change rain, 5.5. Then for his working trot, tra his trot, his walk to trot transition at sea, he got a seven four, it was actually nice. That was the highest score he got. Then his second serpentine, he got a 4-4, four, four, which I don't really understand because I feel like he, oh, he cantered the first loop. Well, he like spooked the first loop of the first one, so I don't really understand that. But anyway, working canter left lead, he got a 6.5 for the transition, a 6.5 for the circle, and a 6 for the downward transition. His, then we had the long rain trot at E, which got a 4.5 because he, he stretched down, but then he put his head up and he was tense and he was fast and he tried to canter. And then down the center line again at the end, he got a 5.5 because he was just tense. And yeah, so that was that. That was a prelim 1C test, um, which is a bit disappointing, but it, it was in an indoor arena and it was his second ever test. And yeah, I just need to work on not getting so tense because I think a lot of it was me getting tense. I'm gonna go clean up my I have so much to put away. Oh my God. And on the way there, he got on the float really well, I think because he hadn't had as much food, but on the way back, he was really quite annoying to get on the float. And like, I've been working a lot on him with not needing someone to go behind him, but today someone had to go behind him just and like wave their hand at his butt to get him to walk on and then he walked straight on because he was literally just standing there not moving so i think because he had so much food he didn't really care about the treats that much which is annoying but you know we'll just do more float training okay so at 6 30 now i fed the horses and packed up all my shit and everything's all done so i'm just sitting i'm about to import the videos from this weekend which you can't even see my screen but um my computer has been so annoying lately like i just it won't let me import videos from my phone i think it's because my phone is old and my computer's old i think it's mainly my computer because it's like 10 years old and it just says like unreadable file and then i have to try like a million times and if i trim it on my phone then it goes i don't know it's really stupid anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one